Welcome back, guys. I have missed you. I have pre-resined this stone because it's very, very bumpy and really, really hard to paint on. So I've pre-resined it and let it dry, and now I've got a nice, soft, smooth surface to paint on. And I'm going to start off with black because today we are doing a dotted rainbow build toucan or it's also known as a keel build keel build toucan and it is a latin american toucan and it's the national bird of belize and its species is found in tropical jungles um i love color so why not paint a bird with a rainbow beak <laughs> um, why not? I love toucans. Um, and, and I thought, well, I'm not going to just do your regular, uh, your regular build toucan. I want the rainbow one. So I thought this would be perfect. Um, so I'm doing it the same way I do all of my dotted creations. I start off with black. I outline with gold and then I clean it all up and get it ready for color and that's when we bring in all the dots um, so hopefully this is fairly simple for you to follow along um, he's going to be sitting on a branch and he's just kind of like leaning forward and he's looking around and um, yeah we're we're just doing it simple very simple we're not going to do uh, anything in the background we're going to leave it the the natural stone background and leave it to your imagination and uh, and you'll see me do some stuff and then get rid of it with black paint because I really didn't like the way it looked. Um, but right now I'm kind of sketching. I'm sketching with gold <laughs> and getting it on there so that uh, you guys can see, hopefully be able to tell that it's a toucan. <laughs> um, the pink thing that's off to the right before anybody asks me is just like a little lid from a container that has rubbing alcohol in it. And I use rubbing alcohol to uh, fix my mistakes. If I don't have rubbing alcohol, I use nail polish remover. Um, but yeah, mostly when I am using a resined rock, I use rubbing alcohol to remove wet paint if I make a mistake. And I just scratch it off really <laughs> with uh, whatever I have close to me. If it's already dry and I make a mistake, I just kind of like scrape it off. Um, but you don't have to uh, scrape anything off if you are worried about the surface of your uh, resin stone. Um, but I find that when I resin it again at the end, when I'm done painting, it covers up any of the scratches that I may have left on the resin before. So I don't really worry about that kind of stuff. But I do, it's, it's hard to scratch off when it's still wet. Uh, so I just use the rubbing alcohol with and a Q-tip and wipe off any mistakes that are still wet. Simple, simple, just didn't want to alarm you guys. What is that thing sitting there? What is she using and where do I get it? <laughs> um, today is my husband's birthday, so I'm trying to get in this uh, tutorial up and ready for you guys for tomorrow morning um, because tonight we are just gonna eat and relax and we're going to be going out in our trailer again very, very soon this weekend. So we're very excited. It's vacation time again. My husband gets a little bit of time off and then he's on call. So we can't even leave the house because he might be needed at any time. There could be an emergency at any time. Um, so we just stay right at home. We don't go anywhere. So he doesn't get to use his birthday present yet <laughs> that I bought for him. Um, I got him a SUP, which is a stand-up paddleboard. And he hasn't really gotten the chance to use it because he's been on call. And now that he's not on call, as of yesterday, we've had nothing but rain. <laughs> so hopefully he can bring it with us when we go camping. So you can see I'm scraping off some bits of the... Uh, the beak or bill, um, stuff that I don't want. I'm scraping off because it's dry, but you're not going to, you're not going to see anything really too special about that. <laughs> it's really simple. Now, uh, you can start to see what he is all about here. There are little sections that I'm, uh, 
taking with the gold paint and there's going to be like strange sections that I'm going to be putting into the beak and you can already see that there's some strange sections that I've outlined on his chest uh, but basically he's kind of like a toucan puzzle so I've made little pieces of him with the gold and we're going to fill in those pieces of puzzle with dots so each little piece is going to be different colors so we're kind of just sectioning everything off that's what we're doing with it this way um, and hopefully we'll see we'll see how it looks at the end um, I have done this with like hummingbirds and and stuff like that but I don't know how it's going to look with a toucan <laughs> so we will see if you don't like the gold um, you can just paint the toucan in these colors without doing dots, without using gold. You can just paint one. You can use my idea uh, and paint it the same colors, but remove the dots and remove the black and gold. It's totally up to you. Um, I like dots. I like gold. We're not going to be putting any glitter in this, although I probably could have. Uh, but this time, just just gold and dots, color, just how I like it. And you'll be able to see every section a lot better once we start filling it in with color. So keep that in mind. Right now it looks a little bit weird. He, he looks a little strange. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping he's going to be very majestically beautiful. Does that even make sense? Very majestically beautiful. <laughs> Oh, welcome to Rachel's Rocks. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button so that you can hear my ridiculousness every time I post. <laughs> hit the notification bell just so you don't miss out on Rachel's mess ups. So I'm starting kind of with the dots a little bit bigger at the bottom of his chest. Um or at the front of his chest, but lower to the bottom, the dots are bigger. And as I get up closer to the eye, I'm gonna make those dots a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna change the color around the eye. It's gonna be lime green. But right now I'm using a nice bright yellow. Um, don't forget to check below this video in the description because everything you need to know, including paint colors, dotting tools, my resin tutorial, where I get my resin, everything, paint colors, everything's all going to be listed below. So if I hold my paint up and you didn't get the chance to see the name of it, the name of it will be in the description of this video. I promise. And if you don't know how to find the description of the video, please search in my video list because recently I posted a video on how to find the description of my videos just so that you can find them because <laughs> I know myself when I first got on YouTube I did not know how to find anything and I'm still not good navigating the YouTubes <laughs> so you can see I did just a lime green around the eye a little bit and I'm mingling in some of those yellow dots, but you can see it's gotten smaller, right? Um, so it kind of looks cool, kind of looks like parody, kind of like a parrot. Um, so now, now we're gonna do some red. Right below his yellow, we're gonna do a yellow, or sorry, a red stripe, because there seems to be a lot of red in the inside that black, the black feathers of a toucan. When they turn a certain way, their, their feathers kind of look purplish and then red. And oh my goodness, these birds are just gorgeous. Um, I'm fixing the beak. Ignore because I'm just, I, I'm just changing. I didn't like the way it looked. It wasn't long enough. Like the one area didn't go enough to the right for me. So I had to erase that and fix that before I start adding color uh, it's just, it just wasn't what I wanted it to be. So whenever you're not sure about it and you don't think it looks right, it's always best to start it over and start fresh so that you are happy after all that work, you want to be happy. So yeah, I just, I wanted to fix it. It bothered me. It's still going to be the same way. Just, um, that one area that I just put in there with gold, it wasn't, long enough. It didn't go close enough to the eye for me. 
So I changed that. Um, but once it's done, you guys can pause it and you can see what I've done there. Or you can take a look at pictures of uh, this type of rainforest toucan. Um, and, and you can figure out yourself how you want to do their beak or their bill. Anywho, I'm using different shades of red, like a nice uh, bright apple red. Um, and I'm just kind of adding a little bit of orange into it as I go along. So I'm changing that red to orange. And then eventually, when I get to the very edge of this little area, it's going to be pure pumpkin orange. So we ombre <laughs> Ombre. Instead of ondele, it's ombre. And yes, red to orange. That's how I did it. And I'm going to do, you guys have seen me do ombre before where I just kind of mix the colors together and they just kind of flow from one color to the next. So I'm using uh, Calypso Sky and I also used Cayman Blue for this part. So it was Cayman Blue, but then I lightened it a little bit. You can see um, how it went from Cayman Blue to Calypso Blue. Now I'm doing some more lime green. You guys can tell, obviously, I'm using the same color that was around the eye. And you, there's all these strange little designs on the beak, but t take a look at some pictures. There is a method to my madness. <laughs> take a look at some pictures of these rainbow build uh, toucans on Google or whatever you like to search, whatever your search engine is. Um, so that you can see what I'm getting this crazy design from. Um, I added a little bit of green to yellow so that I could lighten the top of the beak. So it goes green and it changes to a lighter green because I added yellow. You guys will see that as well. You might not be able to see that color change well right now, but you'll be able to see it once it's covered with resin. Uh, the colors are going to stand out a lot more. So I just put like some little sprigs of hair or feathers, I guess, not hair, but looks like his hair is sticking up. Um, and that's black. I'm also going to be filling or leaving that black because that area is dark. Uh, I'm using lime green, but I'm going to change it to bright green, which is a little bit darker. There it is. And I just mixed the lime green in with the bright green just to change that color a little bit. Make it darker at the bottom of the beak. And we're going to be putting some nice colors, some magenta and a little bit of purple and some red uh, in the tip of the beak as well. Now in these little weird, they look kind of like crocodile teeth on the beak. Uh, I'm putting those in like a dark classic green. So it's like a darker green. And here we go with the red. And then we're going to change that red to magenta. And if you need to pause it so that you can like sort this out and take a look at pictures, by all means, do that. Do whatever you do and take as long as you need to take uh, to make this beautiful. So I've put red on the top and the bottom of that area, that little puzzle piece. Uh, and then filled it in with magenta and I'm going to let the magenta dots dry a little bit um, and I'm going to put some berry wine on the bottom part of the beak. Now it's hard to tell which is the top and the bottom but I am going to separate that with a black line a little bit later. But just pretend that's the top and the bottom. <laughs> Aubergine! I'm putting some purple on top of the dry magenta dots just to give that tip of the beak a nice hue, a nice color. Uh, and once again, you'll be able to see that a lot better very, very soon. So like I was mentioning, the, the black feathers actually look kind of purple or have a little bit of red to them or a little bit of blue, depending on which way these birds move. Um, so I mixed a little bit of eggplant in with the black because I didn't want them to be just plain old black. You can't really tell because it still looks black, but I am dotting everywhere there is black, except for in his eye, um, I'm dotting it in this deep, deep eggplant and black mixed together. So it's not quite black, 
but it still looks black to you guys. <laughs> I can see the purplish hue to the black dots right now, but you guys can't, so I'm sorry. Uh, I wish you could see what I see because it's really hard to capture on a little cell phone video. <laughs> That's all I'm using is a cell phone. Um, I'm doing the best I can, guys. Doing the best I can. So we're going to keep that little black area uh, connected from the beak to the, the head of the toucan. That's actually staying black, so don't think that I forgot about it. Um, I'm going to be using some shades of brown and of course, his little fingies, they are also going to be um, Cayman Blue. He's got some blue feet. He's got some nice bright blue toes. I wish I had toenail polish that color. Um, so I'm going to be doing the same thing in the, the branch that he's sitting on. I'm going to use different shades of brown. I'm going to start off with Burnt Umber on the bottom, which is a darker brown. And I'm going to lighten it with Camel as we go up towards the bird. Um, so you'll see that happen slowly but surely. And I'm simply just adding the camel color. And I'm gonna add some leaves as well. Once I'm done here, you'll see that it'll all be done right in front of your eyes. Super simple. I'm not changing or worrying about the size of dots in, in the branch like I did inside the bird and in the beak and stuff like that. You kinda wanna keep the dots small when you're working in smaller areas, but if you have a bigger area, you can definitely fill it up with bigger dots like I did on the chest of this beautiful bird. So you can't really see my my leaves very well. Hopefully you'll be able to see them a little bit better in a moment. I just didn't add them before, but I decided later on, yeah, we need some leaves. Why not? <laughs> I am just going to use um, bright green, the same bright green that I used on the bottom portion of his beak. I'm not going to go out and find some other colors. I'm just going to keep what I have already in front of me. So you can see that green to the upper left. That's what will be the leaf color. And I'm not going to go all out. I'm not going to add leaves all over the place, just in one little area. Uh, he found an empty part of the branch to rest on. and hunker down for a little bit, just kind of chill. <laughs> um, so here I'm adding the camel color to the burnt umber and we're just lightening that. And I'm gonna mingle in some of those dots to the darker brown. And then they just kind of flow better when you do that. So you'll see that change go all the way. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more and it'll be a little bit lighter and then all I'm really gonna do is outline everything in black and make sure everything looks the way I want it to look before this little guy goes for his resin bath. <laughs> That's my favorite part. I love that part. So I usually would like to do an episode of what's at your desk, but uh, everything at my desk is about to be resined, so I can't show you. <laughs> my next tutorial, I will show you what's at my desk. How about that? Does that sound good? I've had a few people appreciate that so they can see what else I have going on besides my tutorials. And I think that's really nice. So thank you. I appreciate you appreciating me. <laughs> um, if you don't like the color of his toes or if you think there should be a little bit more detail there, definitely do that. Um, more leaves do that if you want like more of a tropical looking leaf instead of a made-up one like what I've just done here I have no idea what kind of tree branch this is um, I don't know <laughs> you tell me you look at the leaves and tell me what kind of tree I just painted because I really don't know <laughs> and that's okay <laughs> uh, but see I'm just using uh, smaller dots for inside those leaves so I'm more careful when I'm in the smaller areas like I was in the beak uh, and in the toes. I just use a smaller dotting tool or you can use toothpicks for smaller areas like around his eye. Um, so you don't have to go out and buy all sorts of tools in order to do this. Um, but if you want the, the fine lining brush that I use, I also have a tutorial for that. Um, so make sure you check the description of my videos. I usually list 
my fine lining brush tutorial in every single one and I'm actually really hoping to get a line of brushes out that I can uh, put in my Etsy shop and sell to you guys so that you guys also have a fine lining brush without having to worry about doing all the cutting and snipping and possibly throwing in the garbage afterwards <laughs> um, like I've had to do in the past so looking into it still guys and still working on merch I've been far too busy with my kids being home and they don't go back to school I'm keeping my fingers crossed um, but numbers are really really low and things are doing well and we're being very safe um, so hopefully the kids are going to be going back to school after the first week of August or sorry first week of September um, but we'll see and then I'll be able to get lots of stuff done once they're in school but it's been one heck of a not even just a year it's it's been since the pandemic hit <laughs> so since March of 2020 it's been a bit crazy I gave him a little light in the eye to bring him alive and then we're gonna give him a resin bath and he's gonna get all shiny and and cozy under that glassy surface I'm just making sure that everything is the way I want it to be before I send them that way. And guys, this is my favorite part. I always like to have a little bit of glitter, so I didn't put glitter on him. I wanted to show you some glitter prior to seeing him resined. How about that? <laughs> I'm wacky, but you gotta love me. <laughs> uh, look at that. Look at the color of this guy. He is beautiful. I like the dots. I like the chest area. The dots look like really cool when they go from big to small. I love all his color. His beak looks fabulous. And even though we didn't add any glitter to this guy, he is sparkly. He looks beautiful. We brought him right to life with that uh, light in his eye. And yeah, I think he looks pretty happy, especially with my glittery, my, my glittery background. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to make one dotted? Are you going to choose the same colors I did? Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and keep painting. I will see you guys very soon.